Welcome in guys, this is gonna be your Sermia quick build guide. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some infographics here. This is gonna be the stuff that you're aiming for. As you can see here also on the right, those are the stats. Now the stats you wanna focus, attack, crit hit chance, as high as you can get it, 100% if possible. And crit hit damage, once again, as high as you can get it. Uh, remember, crit hit damage does cap at 350 350% for everybody. So don't go beyond that if you're sacrificing anything else. And everything else is kind of negligible, whether you're using her in PvE or PvP, which I'll get to that in a second here. Now, as for her alternate equipment, uh, really all in, which is on the right there, the top right, uh, decrease the skill cooldown of Hot Streak by two turns when an enemy is defeated. If you have that and you are running her with lots, a lots, you can basically do her ultimate pretty much every turn assuming there's no stun or anything that's going to upset her uh, otherwise guys the other ones really aren't that useful overall now there's little niche things here and there but that's just how that is now when you go to artifacts i gave you the cheap option whether in pve or pvp but especially in pvp exorcist tonfa uh, up to 16 percent more damage when enemies over 50 percent health that's going to help you one shot every unit that's not a nice unit pretty much but especially Earth units. And then Portrait of the Saviors. Uh, this was a limited time artifact. So if you weren't around for the Guilty Gear collab, just disregard the next about 10 seconds. But that'll give you a 10 to 20% chance. Uh, or excuse me, 10 to 20% more damage when doing uh, damage to enemies over 50 health. Now in PvE, your best bet overall is going to be the Border Coin. Increase attack by up to 15%. Stacks up to three times whenever you're using a non-attack skill. So non-attack skills in this case, that's going to go ahead and be her two, which is right here, hot streak. And we'll get to that more later. Let me go over her skills. Uh, her ultimate, this is what pays the bills, guys. Penetrates defense 50%. Soul burn increases damage. Hits hella hard. Definitely recommend update, upgrading this as much as possible. Got a five turn cooldown, so normally it takes a really long time. But with your two, you can go ahead and reset the cooldown of all in. So in PvP, what you're generally going to want to do if you run it with an A-Lots or even a regular Lots, or anyone that boosts her combat readiness, you want to go ahead and ulti right away. Hopefully you have an A-Lots, he'll give you regular attack buff. Ulti right away, hopefully one-shot somebody. If you do, great. And then you'll have someone else that'll bring her combat readiness up so that she can do her 2, which will then reset the cooldown and of her 3 and give her increased attack greater. And then she can go ahead and one-shot someone else. Now, she's going to be really squishy in PvP, guys, to the point where even, like, one SSB counter can potentially kill her. So that is going to be uh, that is going to be something you're going to have to pay attention to. And her one, uh, basically, it's just puts up unhealable. Uh, it's great if you have uh, follow-up builds, such as you run Kitty Clarissa or Terra Norgard or Tamarin or what have you. Uh, if you got that, then this is worth skilling up, but otherwise, I definitely recommend skilling up her 3 and skilling up her 2. If you're going to be doing anything, this character is capable of one-shotting Golem. This capable character is capable of one-shotting basically anything that's not an ice unit, assuming that you put her gear together. Now, you see there, I got her with a speed set and a critical set. Um, to be perfectly honest, you don't have to do that. Uh, you can run her full attack set and crit. I've seen people run her triple crit. Crit damage and uh, crit chance is actually probably the hardest you're going to get her to hit. Unless you get really lucky with your critical damage main stats and sub rolls on uh, other pieces of gear, guys. So, and the only other thing to go over before I show you what she's like in action, make sure you get her imprint concentration, which is going to increase her attack. Uh, the crit hit chance, you know, that's decent for some things, like Abyss 100 and stuff. But you really want her hitting as hard as possible since she's the one that's penetrating defense. So, that's the way that is, guys. And if you do that, you are going to have a character capable of this. She just wrecks anything you put in front of her that's not ice unit. Really good against tanky stall teams, guys. So your Ruels, your FCCs, anybody like that, Lilius. 
you'll just go ahead and wreck pretty much everything. Once again, that's not a nice unit, so just keep those things in mind, guys, and you will be on your way to one-shotting practically everything. So, hope you guys had fun with that, <laughs> and I'll catch you guys later on.